Well, I mean, the characteristics, I mean, I got the full gamut of what I wanted. I believe I got the best running back group, you know, in the country, you know, as far as production, mindset, just physical attributes, leadership, all the things you need to be successful. So, I mean, I got speed, I got power, you know, I got knowledge of the game, I got savvy, I got leadership, change of direction, pass protection, I got all of the components to make us an upper hand team. So, Again, just putting those guys all in position to be successful and having those guys be unselfish, that's what we're doing. Yeah, so a big thing with Audrick was we just talked about um, really body fat, lean, you know, just leaning it out. And it wasn't necessarily losing weight, but the guys, I could have sworn last Sorry, there was like 7 or 8% body fat that we lost. So you can see those things out there. Another big thing, Audrick comes in, we meet, and we talk every week about just things he wants to improve on. He's really made some big things. He's more twitchy than he was last year. And his route running ability is, I mean, he's killing it now as far as detailing his routes and just being more precise as far as stair stepping, stacking guys, bursting away. There's a lot of things he's doing that really look good as far as outside of just the things you see when he's running the ball, you know, like more power and different things like that. The beautiful part is nothing's changed that running back as far as terminology, et cetera. You know, but the way it was presented to um, Chris months ago, I know I had a conversation with him about an opportunity to be able to help the team and help himself at the same time. And I think he's starting to see the benefits of that as a guy out wide, that speed is a premium, his ability, his knowledge of the game and his ability to be a big playmaker can help us even more you know, on the perimeter. So just excited that he's having success there. Um, Brian doing better than what I thought he was going to do. I mean, I was like, I knew the guy was good, but man, he's been out there killing it. So that's a testament to Coach Stuckey and to um, to Chris on the way he's handling that challenge. Now, I'm, uh, uh, my, my career showed that I'm going to go with a bunch of guys. You know, yeah, it's going to be a guy who, at the end of the day, somebody will have the most yards, somebody will have the most carries. But I look at it as just the long term, diminishing returns to me, especially when I'm in a situation like Notre Dame where I got a bunch of good players. You know what I'm saying? I want to play them guys. And so I told the guys last year, I said, had three guys who had the advantage of having RB1 type touches, but one third of the beating on their body. You know what I'm saying? And guys, especially for some of these guys trying to go, there's benefit to that. Now again, what we're trying to do here comes first, and we want to win games. But at the end of the day, man, you look at the guys I got, it's hard to say one guy's gonna play and the other guys ain't gonna play. That's 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 some hard decisions. So I'm gonna play all of them. It's been going real good. You know, I'm extremely excited about him. You know, he was um, participating in some of the stretches and stuff like that today, moving around. Um, real confident and excited about his return.